Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm gonna start right off by saying my bike feels amazing, and that's because, as you saw the title of the video, I just had my one of my main servicings done. It's the fourth, I think it was the fourth servicing. Yeah, pretty sure it was the it was either the fourth or fifth servicing. I can't remember, but I did it at fourteen thousand kilometers, as you can see, thirteen double nine eight. And I had quite a lot of things done to the bike, quite a lot of essentials changed. So I'll walk you through it, and I'll just show you a few videos that I took on site while the bike was being serviced, as I explain. First off, I went to Unleaded Care. I didn't go to Bajaj. I went to Unleaded Care. Why? Because I'd heard he was a really good guy, serviced the bikes very well. Our uh, service to he's currently working on a friend of mine's super bike, his CBR, uh, high spec CBR 600. So that is something he's currently doing. So and he's just very knowledgeable, great guy. So I went with KV. First of all, I went with KV. His name is Akash. I went with KV when KV got his brake fluid upgrade done. He had the Dot 5.1, and just talked to him a while, and just thought, you know what? I'm gonna just give my bike to him for servicing for the next time. And sure enough, as I got back from my Ratnagiri trip, I just the bike just felt quite rattled up. So I took my pulsar to him and dropped it off for servicing. Told him, mate, it's been 14k kilometers and two years. So whatever on the bike needs to be changed, you can just go ahead and change it. So the air filter, the coolant, oil, whatever. And I also asked him if I could join and just hang around while he does it because it just all of this stuff just fascinates me quite a lot. And I'd like to see the whole process, you know. So he said he called me and as he started working on my bike, I went there and he opened up the whole bike. a uh, very eye opening to see the bike with nothing on it like even the tank he took off the tank as well and the first thing we checked out was the air filter and can i say my air filter was absolutely filthy it was so so filthy akash had pleaded he hadn't seen a dirtier air filter before and it's not something i'm proud of at all so as you can see in the video which i'll superimpose here while editing The air filter was absolutely filthy. Oh my god! And basically, I was suffocating the bike. The pulsar was getting very, very much suffocated. Not enough air was going through. It was completely gunked up, clogged up with dust and dirt. I should have done it a long, long time ago. The thing is, the guys at Bajaj don't really advise you on the air filter, which kind of sucks to be honest. Every, uh, none of the times that I've uh, dropped my bike at Bajaj for servicing, have they asked when was the last time you changed your air filter? They've asked me about engine oil, but I mean who doesn't, right? Engine oil is a very standard procedure. Air filter is something that you have to take off the tank to take out the air filter. So I don't know that's if that's the reason they're so hesitant to do it or what. But point is, I should have changed it a lot earlier, probably at five thousand or something. And it's a very cheap part. The OEM Bajaj air filter for the NS two hundred only costs like two or three hundred rupees. Is I think it's three hundred rupees including labor and all that. So that was changed. A fresh air filter was got. We put that right in the bike, and immediately we, as we fired the bike up at the service center, everything just felt so much smoother. The refer the firing felt smoother to listen to. It was a little bit louder because there was more air going into the machine, and I just knew that this was a replacement that really needed to be done. Next, I'm going to go on to the brakes. So the standard brake fluid that the NS and pretty much all the bikes in this segment come with uh, is Dot 4. So Akash checked the brake fluid. There's a gauge which tells you the percentage of water in the brake fluid. So in the front reservoir, which is that one there. And the rear reservoir as well. So in the front reservoir, there's around three percent water, which is okay-ish. I mean, it shouldn't be more than four percent, but three percent is still not great. And obviously, there had been a certain amount of oil depletion as well. So initially, he topped up the oil with dot five point one. So dot three, four, and five dot one can be used uh, with each other. They can be mixed, and there'll be no sort of harmful consequences or any of that. So first of all, he topped it up. I only need a little bit of oil just to you know get this reservoir to its optimum capacity, and after that he checked the brake pads. The front is that those were absolutely knackered as well. I mean, as he told me these things, he showed me everything, how it's supposed to be and how it's currently looking on my motorcycle. The brake pads were absolutely gone. The thing is, there's uh, there's basically semi-sintered material. The NS200 brake pads, the stock ones, 
as semi centered so that material is attached on a metal plate okay so the metal the, the, the thickness of the material the breaking material was so oh so my god why is there so much traffic here uh, i have to go right i have to go on sinagar road yeah one second auto bro 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 one sec yeah 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 that's good yeah so i was saying that the thickness of the breaking material was like it was less than a third of what it should be which oh look we just hit 14000 would you look at that so it was a, less than a third of what it should be and akash said that if it had gone any further in deep there's basically a groove in the middle which is acts the same way as the tire tread so when you know your tires are absolutely knackered it's when you can't see the grooves because the uh, the level of the grooves and the level of the rubber is the same so the, the same concept is used by the central located groove on the brake pads so my brake liner had gone below that way way below that akash said if it had gone any lower then the metal would have directly scraped onto my disc and my disc would have got damaged fortunately that did not happen uh, guys these are by the way examples of what you should not do i mean you should not take your servicing this late under any circumstances get it done quicker earlier i'll tell you the intervals which were suggested to me and just follow those just don't make it this late i'm just thankful nothing happened to my bike because of my negligence and the negligence of bajaj who are telling me the correct intervals anyways so yeah i changed those uh, got those changed obviously so and yeah because i changed the brake pads the full system had to be bled out the braking system because when you apply pressure at the bottom while reattaching the brake pads in the caliper there's a pressure build up in the whole uh, in the whole system in the braking system which causes the oil to sort of come out of the top which requires the whole system to be flushed out of existing fluid and topped up with entirely new fluid so we did that at the front akash and his colleague flushed out the entire system bled it out replaced the whole thing with liquid moly 5.1 uh yeah and same thing for the back so the thing is my back brake pads were actually all right but the back brake reservoir was not as more than 4% water which means the the quality of oil in the reservoir was completely completely fucked up completely fucked up so that had to be changed or the weather is actually really nice now i mean it's wet but there's also sun now i don't know i wonder if i be able to see a rainbow uh, yeah anyways uh, coming back to topic a uh, bled the front and back braking systems completely change the brake pads up front and change the air filter and the usual servicing stuff the lubricating of the chain checking up all the electrical seeing if they are working all right and all that was done obviously but the interesting parts are what the stuff i replaced and can i tell you the difference is profound it feels really amazing the bike feels much smoother it feels snappier the front brakes do feel sharper but I, they will feel even sharper in about i think if my calculations are right in about 40 to 50 km why because the new center material on the brake pads takes about 70 75 km to break in so at the back i can immediately feel the extra bite from the freshly bled systems with the new 5.1 liquid moly fluid i can immediately feel that braking performance and the thing is i actually went on an entire 720 km ride with all of this shit okay which was in hindsight not a good idea funny thing funny thing the basically the thing with dot for 5.1 brake fluid it has a higher operational temperature range as compared to dot 4 so what that essentially does it allows your brakes to heat up more before they start fading so you can use them for longer and you can use them harder and i would have noticed that in the ghats if my brake pads were actually uh, in uh, the right shape but i didn't notice my brakes fading because my stock brake pads were already so f- so it's like they were bad and they became a little worse so i didn't really notice whereas if my brake pads were in good condition and then they became they faded out in that case i probably would have noticed but yeah did the whole ride on those yeah so yeah so continuing on to the intervals that i will be following from now onwards uh, my reading now is 14000 so in 5000 kilometers i'll getting i'll be getting a new air filter 
every 5k new air filter definitely in uh, 3000 kilometers i'll be getting an oil change why in 3000 because i did one two oil changes ago and that is uh, semi synthetic bajaj dtsi so i'll be getting a full synthetic upgrade possibly liqui moly race 10w50 but again i'll see the other options at the time as well what else what else brake pads i'll just be checking pretty much every time i take my bike i'll be going to akash at unleaded care uh, every time for servicing again probably won't be going back to bajaj he just gives much better insights about the motorcycle maintenance and what i should be doing rather than what company recommended is because news flash guys that isn't always the best way to that's more from a money conservation point of view sometimes if it's a brand like bajaj rather than an optimum maintenance point of view and i highly recommend that you or uh, take the optimum recommended uh, service intervals and fluid replacement intervals rather than the what's economic on your pocket guys only 300 rupees for new air filter guys come on it's pretty it's not bad it's really not bad so yeah oil filter is obviously changed with the, the brake oil uh, sorry not the brake oil what the f- am i saying oil filter is obviously changed uh, with the engine oil so that will be done at 17k as well what else is there anything i'm missing coolant yes my coolant was all right so the coolant quality again mo- was monitored by a gauge that he had on site oh, wait hang on i may have messed up a little here so yeah the coolant will be changing uh, with the engine oil or at the next servicing again the gauge will tell the truth but right now the coolant is in great 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 condition it's organic coolant so the operational temperature range is good but it could be better there's always scope for improvement over stock fluids but right now even when i'm riding at low speeds in this very annoying city traffic i can notice that the bike is much smoother it sounds more refined feels more refined overall the slightly louder the brakes feel better and that's saying a lot since it's in the wet right now and they'll get even better still so that has been my major servicing guys oh yeah bye i got the leg guard slightly straightened up as well i don't know if you can see it but that I got that slightly ever so slightly straightened up. If I would have, if we would have like tried to force it to become more straight, might have snapped. Don't want that now, do we? So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. That's my main fourteen thousand fourteen thousand kilometer slash two year main servicing. Uh, make sure to get your uh, bike's fluids checked in time and yeah, ride safe and subscribe if you enjoyed it.